Good day everyone and welcome to the Transport for Sydney Vlogs channel and welcome to part 6 of the Parramatta Light Rail walkthrough series. In this part I'll be covering the section from the Robin Thompson stop which I'm at right now towards the Tramway Avenue and Rose Hill Garden stop. I'll definitely be covering the Tramway Avenue stop in this video however I'm not too sure if I'll go any further than that as I'm not too familiar with the distance between um, Tramway Avenue and Rose Hill Gardens. I, tr I do try to keep these um, parts to normally around 15 minutes max. So yeah, depending on how we go with time, um, I might stop after the Tramway Avenue stop. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, just crossing the intersection of Macquarie Street and Harris Street now. Looks like Macquarie Street ends and it's just tram only. Also, uh, we are now entering another green section. The second green section of the Parramatta Light Rail. Right, walk on top of it. Yeah, um, the green section, as I would have mentioned in, I think, part two, when I covered from the Children's Hospital stop to the Nara stop, um, that was the first green section. The green section is basically um, where you have grass um, in between the tracks and most of the track bed is also filled with grass as well as you can see here. There are pipes running underneath um, to I guess maintain the irrigation. But yeah, um, so this is the second green section that I've that I'm covering um, in the Parramatta Light Rail walkthrough series and there should be a third one as well a little later on. Got a couple of bin chickens which are enjoying the grass right now before trams start testing around mid next year. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna find much food here. It's looking back towards Parramatta, uh, looking south really. Got some nice plants as well, which help separate uh, the tram section and Harris Street. So this road that you're seeing now is George Street. And on the other end of George Street is Parramatta River. This park, I believe, here on the right is Robin Thompson, which is why the previous stop was named after Robin Thompson. It looks like there's a cricket match going there in the background. Yeah, also a speed sign. So in the case that trams can only travel as fast as 55 kilometers per hour,
continuing on from the previous part we're still in a non-wide section so there'll be no overhead wires here and I can confirm that's from Tramway Avenue uh, after the Tramway Avenue stop all the way up to Collingford will be a wide section which I'll be covering probably another day due to other commitments I have later this afternoon not too sure what this side street here across a kind of green light got another flood meter two meter flood meter more plants surrounding the light rail section Turn my camera, give you all a view in the opposite direction. So the intersection that we are about to pass now is George Street and Purchase Street. Looks like George Street is still only one way eastbound. the end of the second green section back to a concrete track bed per hour section for the trams Street's now two-way. Pretty sure we're still on George Street. But yeah, um, vehicles traveling westbound pretty much have to turn right on um, Purchase Street and then left. Or I don't think now they can't turn left on George Street. They're gonna have to turn left on Purchase Street and then find a parallel route. But yeah. Um, Because of permanent light rail, a lot of roads that used to be two ways are now only one way. So yeah, it's made it a little, probably a little bit inconvenient um, for people driving into Parramatta. But yeah, I guess this is one way of trying to encourage people wanting to travel to Parramatta to go via public transport. So yeah.
now approaching the intersection of Broad Street and Alfred Street. The line veers left onto Alfred Street. And it looks like it also marks the start of the third green track section. So you're now about to walk into the third green track section. I believe this is the last one. There's only three in total. Anyway, this is another tram stop, of course. So I'm just having a mind, a mind blank right now. Yes, it's the Tramway Avenue stop. That's what I was um, trying to find. So yeah, this is the Tramway Avenue stop. There's two canopies. Both are completed. However, still work that needs to be done to cover the ceiling as that's still exposed. Um, I didn't see any cables, so cabling work will probably need to be done first. And then we'll be seeing panels installed and then eventually um, information display screens, signage, benches, water refill um, station, amongst many things. Also, it looks like groundwork needs to be done as well as um, work to finish the piping. So yeah, um, the green track section and continues up onto the other end of the Tramway Avenue stop. So what I'll do is I'll just make my way up and over to the other side. Looks like the Tramway Avenue stops in the, at a similar stage um, to where the Panmata CBD stop is, which I covered in my previous uh, walkthrough video, as well as many other stops um, that I covered back in early November on the other end of the light road closer to Westmead. You can also see a bridge in the distance. Uh, I believe that overpasses the James Roofs Drive. And that should mark the start of the active transport link, which will continue up to Carlingford. And that, will, uh, that will allow me to walk adjacent to the light rail stop. But yeah, I'll be covering that in the next part, as this part is already quite long now. But before I wrap this one up, I'll just quickly show you all another view of the Tramway Avenue stop looking towards Parramatta. So yeah, you can see this pole in the middle. That will be for overhead wiring as this will mark the start of the next um, wired section, which will continue up to Carlingford. So yeah, that's what this pole is for. 
no overhead wires as of yet but something to look out for uh, in coming months and maybe might be up um, when I start filming the next um, collection of walkthrough videos but yeah, anyway um, I'll probably wrap it up here and um, continue in subsequent parts anyway thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel like and favorite this video and I will see you next time